Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. Well, looking at the Australian dollar, the bears continue to keep their poles on the market for the sixth straight day since the rejection of the 60-day simple moving average along with the outside bearish range day. Although the technicals are extremely oversold, and at this point does imply that we could see a rebound, the market is still content in challenging the downside. At present, I do see the support minor at 75.45, but towards 74.85 figure, I would probably square my position up and reassess from there. Any advances should look towards 76.05, even though last night, the market bulls did take the high to 75.88, but soon slipped away. The bearishness for the euro continues, and quite surprisingly, the market has actually fallen lower after the widely expected European Central Bank kept interest rates on hold. ECB chief Mario Draghi appears to have played down worries over recent softness in the eurozone economy, leaving the door open to ending lavish bond purchases by the close of the year. The US dollar, which is weighted against the euro at 57.6, has broken since lower since the market took out the 121.80, and also the DXY has rallied quite significantly uh, since the break of 1940. My view is the fact we are still looking towards the region of 118, after being locked in a year range of 121.5 to 125.5, with a further break to the downside, should see further strength in the US and giving an immediate target on an intraday bias at 120.60. Well, the dollar yen is taking a slight breather as the balls relax in front of the level of 109.70. It is viewed at this stage that further test to the downside is. Uh, Likely, but at this point, as the market takes us a slight breather, we could see a slight pullback with the immediate support coming in at 108.85. It is viewed the break of 109.70 would give further upside potential to a target of around 111. Well, the pound was very erratic overnight, but nevertheless didn't sustain its gains as it rallied to a high of 139.97 before slipping. The downside um, outlook still remains since the break of this uptrend at 140.35 with the target seen at 138 reassessed from this region. The market is probably likely to be short, so do be on your guard that we could see a rebound from this region. Well, as safe haven demand gets less and less over the last few days, and also with the geopolitical uncertainty slightly fading in the background, is that gold has fallen and now taking the, the support at 1,318. And still, at this point, remains slightly weak. At present, I'm not overly bearish at these levels due to this bullish divergence. Therefore, we could see a rebound from the low region, which is the bullish foundations around 1,300 to 1,305. The immediate resistance is seen at 21, and we could see a rebound to 26. Wrapping up with oil, the market still at this point isn't bullish, and you can see from the indicator is breaking down, so I do expect to see further weakness. The immediate target for oil comes in now at around 60. $7.70 and with an objective of $66 a barrel. Advances towards 68 highs or even close towards 69 and a half should fail. So that wraps up for this week. Thank you very much for joining me and I hope you have an excellent day and a wonderful start to the new weekend.